Okay, so we are going to be launching rockets and you're gonna be taking lots of measurements, making some predictions, seeing how well your rocket performs. You're gonna be split into three groups as a class. One group we're not gonna talk about and that is the launching group. We're gonna talk about that in another video. The other two groups are the weather and the altitracks, all right? Uh, let's get the weather one out of the way. It's pretty simple, okay? You're gonna be going out to all these Altitrack stations, okay? The weather people are gonna go out to the stations and you're gonna look up on your phone or on your laptop on some sort of app, certain information that is on the sheet like humidity, wind direction, that sort of thing. Um, temperature, okay? The other thing that you have to do is you're gonna have to take the uh, wind direction. You're going to try to measure it yourself. You have an anemometer, okay? The anemometer is just a fancy little uh, fan in there and you basically just turn it on. And we'll discuss this a little bit more in detail actually in class, but you turn it on and then you move it around you until it gets moving and wherever it's moving the fastest, that's the direction that the wind is coming from and it'll tell you right on here, all right? Uh, and it'll tell you the speed, so speed and direction on this guy, okay? Everything else pretty much is just looking at the app, writing it down, pretty simple, don't forget the date and time. Okay, second group uh, we're gonna talk about is the Altitrack group. This is the group of people who are gonna go up and actually measure the height of the rocket using some old school but still reliable methods. And if you are in group number two, you are going to be in the Altitrack group. So the Altitrack group is gonna first use a meter wheel. On this meter wheel, it is going to spin, and when it spins, every meter you go, it is going to click. So you can hear that clicking noise. The first thing to do is to start it right after a click. So what I did was I hear it click, and then that is where I'm going to begin. And what I'm gonna do is down here at the launch pad, I am gonna start where we are going to launch. And then I am going to walk a specified distance. So for this one, I'll go 100 meters. So every little click that I go, that's gonna be one. One, two, three, four, five, So now we're at our spot, we're 100 meter clicks away from the launch pad. And what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna use the AltaTrack. The AltaTrack is basically a device that's gonna record the angle in which we are looking at the rocket. So to use this thing, all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull in the trigger. And when I pull in the trigger, it's gonna release that pendulum. And the pendulum is gonna swing freely inside the angle recording. So when someone is gonna launch, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point this at the launch pad and I'm gonna put the crosshairs in it. I'm gonna follow this up with the trigger pulled in and when it reaches its highest point where I see that parachute deploy, I'm gonna release the trigger and then I'm gonna read the angle that's on here. The angle that you see on the AltaTrack is gonna be the angle you record on the document for the group that just launched. So each you and your partner are gonna have an AltaTrack you're each gonna record an angle and you're each gonna write down an angle that's recorded. So the example we're gonna use on how to do this is that big old light post uh, for the stadium lights. We're gonna see how high that is. So Mr. Dorshama, can you go ahead and show us how to sight the thing? Yep, so what I'm gonna do is I pull on that trigger to make the pendulum spring freely. And then all I'm gonna do is bring up the Alta track and I am going to line up the the crosshairs at the light. And when I have them there, I'm gonna release it. And then that is gonna record my angle. So the angle on here goes from zero to 70 degrees. And then every little tick mark on there is two degrees. So right now we're looking at 10, 12, 14, about 16 degrees is my angle in which I'm looking at that from my viewpoint. 